today we're going to do a bunny. Look at this awesome bunny. So we're looking at some things for inspiration so we know how we want to put our color on our bunny and how we want to dress our bunny if we choose to. So here are some ideas for inspiration. So there's one bunny. I love the colors and especially the purple. Look at how cute that bunny is, the little white bunny. Even though she's white, she's got some ivory color on her and you could also use some gray, but look how cute she is peeking around the corner. You probably want to put the top of her ears, which is easy to do. I love this bunny. Of course we do. Look how cute those glasses are. So we would draw our bunny and then we would add the crazy glasses. Now this bunny right here, love the scarf around her and her little ears are down and not up. And then Kate is going to love this one. You have a cowboy hat on this bunny. So there's some ideas for your bunnies. We're going to go step by step and draw the bunny and then you can add or embellish however you choose to. So one of my favorite catalogs is called Mackenzie Childs and look at the little bunny in the front and he has got a bow that is black and white. Also, this little guy right here has got a bow inside his ears. There's all sorts of bows, but inside his ears, look how cute that black and white check is. And all those fun colors. I love this soft blue green color. Now for our background, look at the polka dots. How cute would that be with our bunny? Just some pastel polka dots that make you think of Easter or spring. So there's our inspiration. And the next thing we're gonna do is start with our drawing. So you'll need your pencil and your sketchbook. Stop. All right, so this is my sketchbook. And it's a mixed media sketchbook because we are going to be using watercolors and watercolor pencils. And if it's just regular paper, it's going to crinkle and it's not going to look nice when we get done. So that's my sketchbook. It does have a little bit of texture. So the bunny I'm going to start to draw, and I've kind of got him sketched in so you can see, but I'm going to go over my shapes and then erase. So I love the little bunny with the scarf around her head. So I'm going to start and don't hold your pencil too close like this. I want you to hold back just a little bit because if we push too hard, we can't erase our lines. So remember to draw light until you get it right. So my first shape on my bunny is going to be an egg. Does that not look like an Easter egg, that little bunny head? Just exactly an egg, doesn't it? So I'm going to start with this shape right here, my egg shape. Kind of a big egg, but there's my egg. And I'm going to draw super light so I can erase. So there's your first shape. Now the little bunny has got a long nose and he's got kind of a little muzzle. So at the end of my egg shape, I'm going to draw a circle. Now where my circle is over my mouth, I'm going to erase. Now the next thing I'm going to draw is my neck. And a lot of times when we draw, we draw our necks too thin. And if you'll take your fingers and feel where your neck is from your head, you'll see how wide that is. So draw your neck. It can be long and thin if you want, or if you're wanting to have a little bit of a shorter neck and a wider neck, you can do that as well. So our next shape is going to be our bunny's ears, and they're gonna come, they can be an oval shape, just like that, down onto our bunny's head, into our egg. So there is my oval shape. I'm going to do both ears the same. Please watch when you start your drawing that you've got plenty of space for both of your ears. 
If you need to make some marks so you don't run out of room, that would be good. And again, if you draw a light and you have to erase, not a problem. So after I get my ovals, I'm going to point my ears just a little bit on the end. Or if you like how they're round, you can leave them rounded. I kind of like mine a little pointier. And I'm going to go down to my head now again. Once I get my lines on there, I can erase what I don't like so it doesn't become confusing. My muzzle right here, I'm going to draw where my little nose is going to be. Now you have a choice. You can do a whole nose or you can just draw the shape and we won't do it black. We'll just leave it and draw shadows underneath your nose so it looks like a nose. At the bottom here, I want a mouth and I'm going to have my little chin come down below that muzzle. And again, anything I need to erase, I'm going to erase so I can see where I've been and what I need to do. And I may bring back just a tiny bit lower. And see, I've drawn light so I can erase very easily. Now, Bunny's eyes are on the side. So they're not like our eyes and they won't be right in front, like right here. But that's going to look a little bit silly, isn't it? So my Bunny's eyes are an almond shape. And I'm going to do one side and then the other and put the colored part of his eye inside and then we can add where our pupil is going to be. So my eyes are almond shape and again I've got my iris which is the colored part of the eye and my pupil and depending upon where your pupil is is where your subject will be looking. So make sure that they're about in the same space. And I'm going to draw a tiny bit of an indentation up above right there, because I'm going to leave that part white, a little bit lighter when I start to put my color in. So my ears, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my thickness of my ears or my edges. And you can make them wider to thin. And if you like the ears more rounded, you don't have to point them, you can leave them rounded. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is my scarf that's on the head of my bunny. So the scarf has been pulled up around its head and tied in a knot. So I'm going to go around the shape of my bunny's head. to look like it's wrapped around, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than my bunny is. And erase. Now, I'm going to do, there would be part of this in the back showing through, and I'm going to erase the ears back there so that isn't confusing to your eyes. Get rid of all of this ear stuff. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is my knot where I've tied my scarf on my bunny, which is two C strokes back to back. And try not to make them even. We have a tendency to do that and it looks better if they're not. And then I'm going to do the ties of the end. And they're going to go back into that knot and this one on this side. And once again, I'm going to erase what I don't need. There you go. So, one thing with my bunny, now I have my shapes. I want to make him look like he's furry. So, along the edge, and I don't want you to get it all the same distance, all the same shape. I want you to go in and pull some little places that look like fur. You see that right there? And then I'm going to erase my line and clean up my line. Now I want you to think about when you're doing that, 
If you were petting a rabbit, would you go this way or would you go this way? Because the way you would pet him is the way his fur would grow. So you don't need to do everything, but do a few here and there. Definitely around my muzzle, but I want you to think about the direction that it would be growing on this side is going to be here. Right? And if you wanted to do some around your mouth, you could do that as well. So I'll erase the lines that I started with, leave that little bit of fuzziness, and if I felt like I wanted some fur on my neck, I could do a few little marks of fur after I got my edges done. But again, we have a tendency to get an even and exact, and that's not what we want to do. So go ahead and get your fur on, and our drawing should be ready to paint. So just for cape, I'm gonna draw this hat, and once I have my bunny finished, I can put, I could actually draw this first and then trace it on tracing paper and transfer it. But what I'm gonna do is this hat brim looks like a big old, almost like a potato chip, doesn't it? So that's my shape for my big old funny cowboy hat. And then there's a crown that's going to come down. And my ears can come out right here if you wanted. Or they could come out over the top a little bit, over your crown just a little bit. I put a hat band on there. And if you wanted to, we could have a little bit more of a line right in there. So it looks like it had that indentation but here will be my bunny's face. So if you decide you want a hat, how simple would that be to add? So get your bunny ready to 